everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. If this is the first time you've come onto my channel, then hi, I'm Sara. I make beauty and lifestyle content here on YouTube. And if you're new here, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button down below and join the Sara squad. And also don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time I upload a video, you get notified. For today's video, it's going to be first of its kind on this channel. I'm reviewing an Indian skincare company and I'm sure that I must have uh, included Indian skincare companies and products in my skincare routine over the years but it's never been a conscious effort but ever since the vocal for local movement has started I wanted to start making a conscious effort towards trying testing and reviewing Indian skincare companies that's what we are doing I've reached out to a bunch of Indian skincare companies and a lot of them responded back and I've been testing every single product out since months and giving every single brand and product its fair chance but today we are talking about Myoho Pure by Priyanka now these products that are reviewed in today's video are all sent by the brand but this video is in no way sponsored all of the opinions on the products are going to be my own personal opinions my own trials and errors with these products and definitely there are hits as well as misses because with every brand it's never a wholesome show of only hits it's always going to be hits and misses so you have to stay tuned for the entire video to know which products worked for me and which products didn't at the onset of this video i also want to let you know that i have oily acne prone skin i have very sensitive skin so i do make sure that i test out only one single product at a time and don't include everything in my skincare routine all at once so all of this has been really well tested and so if you're interested to know my honest thoughts and opinions and demos on all of these skincare products then please keep on watching Okay, okay, before we dive into the product reviews, just one more thing that I want to add is that I have an affiliate code with Pure by Priyanka. So if you use the code SARA10 on their website, all over their website at the end before checkout, then you will be getting a 10% discount on your order and with that I will also be earning a small percentage of that order but that does not affect you in any way. So I just wanted to put this out there and if you're shopping for any of this, you can always use my code because that will benefit both of us and I don't see why you shouldn't be doing that. And with that, let's dive into the review of the first product let's do one hit one miss and so that, that we have an equal balance going on and first we'll start with the most hit product from all of the products that they sent me and that is their vitamin c serum now vitamin c has become such a rage in the indian skincare market these days not just indian but overall vitamin c is a product that works really well over and across skin types so this particular vitamin C serum is very very potent I was always looking for an Indian company to do a good vitamin C serum and this one really makes the cut now with vitamin C as an ingredient it's such an ingredient that doesn't suit my skin very readily you know it takes time for my skin to adjust so when I initially started using vitamin C back in the day it used to not suit me very well because I used to use very concentrated amounts and I used to break out immediately but then I started like mixing a little bit of serum with like a neutral moisturizer and getting my skin used to it and when I did that now is the time that my skin has gotten used to vitamin C and now I can use concentrate forms like serums and it works well for me so if you're using vitamin C two things you need to keep in mind is that you might break out with vitamin C if you're super super sensitive so start with something that's a lotion don't really start with serum initially and second thing that you should keep in mind is that vitamin c is photosensitive and so if you're using vitamin c you should always accompany it with a sunscreen and that is why i have been researching and talking to a lot of dermats and realized that vitamin c used with a sunscreen in the daytime is the best combination so this particular product along with their sun kissed mineral sunscreen has been my daytime skincare routine since over a month and a half like since the time I got their products I started using these two in combination and I fell in love with what it was doing for my skin all throughout the day my skin was protected and at night even when I washed my skin of all the pollution accumulation my skin was still glowing like it had this nice and radiant glow and I have been breaking out you know when it's that time of the month and you start breaking out like the way I am right now over here so if I'm breaking out also my scars are fading even faster they are fading more evenly because there's vitamin c in my routine and my skin is protected and the vitamin c is working well because there's a sunscreen accompanied with that so this could make for a perfect morning skincare routine their sunscreen is also super super good like these two are definitely the hits of today's video this is what i want to talk most about in today's video because just as potent as their vitamin c serum is it's 15 percent potency it says it's for brighter and smoother skin tone definitely does that it has a very nice citrusy fragrance to it but it's nothing overpowering at all none of their skincare products have overpowering fragrances which is a total total hit i do not like 
overpowering fragrances that bother you and that give you a migraine or just irritate your skin for no particular reason so that is not the case with this brand now being a mineral sunscreen you would expect it to be very heavy or greasy or give a very strong white cast but that is not the case of course it does have some amount of white cast every single sunscreen does and it is a little greasy but it's definitely not heavy it sinks into your skin really well and really fast it has a very nice consistency you know very moisturizing in nature I am oily skin type so I don't like heavy sunscreens at all and this is very emollient it blends into your skin really well you will not feel the heaviness of this and you can go about with your day really really well and this has such a beautiful fragrance to it I love I'm obsessed with how beautiful this smells can you see how much I've used up like it's completely created a vacancy because I've been using it for one and a half month I just hope and wish that they come out with the same sunscreen in a tube packaging because personally I would prefer having a sunscreen that's in a tube and not in a tub but I can't really complain and this is priced at 800 and their vitamin C serum is also very affordable it's also priced at 795 so both of these products all of their skincare is not exorbitantly expensive and for the ingredients that they're using it's I think worth the money because your skincare is an investment your skin is an investment so these two products being the hit let's dive into the third product and I think for the third product let's Let's take one of their misses and amongst all the products I tried this one is the least impressive this one just did not cut it for me and that is their apricot and date fruit scrub come pack now this is uh, having a very coarse texture the main reason I did not like this is because of its very annoying fragrance I can't with this fragrance and my mom and I tried this at the very same time and both of us broke out immediately after using it I don't know what is it about this product I don't know if we were purging or having a reaction to the ingredients or the reaction to the fragrance in this now it says it does not have any extra artificial fragrance it says it has dates fermented fruit pulp sweet almond oil peach oats apricot raw honey vitamin e and rose extract now oats and apricot can be very strong physical exfoliators they're very coarse in nature and they can cause micro tears in your skin and which is why I have completely stopped using such strong physical exfoliators and I have mostly uh, switched to chemical exfoliation in my skincare routine but even if I'm using physical exfoliators I make sure they don't have walnut apricot or oats in them because they are pretty coarse and two of those ingredients are in this product so which is also why I did not like it it's pretty coarse in nature if you're gonna apply it on your active acne you will have breakouts it did do its job it took away all the excess sebum it took away all the excess like you know collection of oils on my face it did exfoliate leave my skin with a nice glow but I just the cons weigh uh, more than the pros you know so I would have the same effect with another exfoliator so this one didn't cut it for me okay let's talk about the fourth product which is another hit from their range and that is the aloe moisture surge I have seen so many reviews and so many uh, people talking about this product and saying how amazing it is now this aloe moisture surge is so potent uh, that it, it, it can be a little you know like a treatment sort of so if the days I'm feeling like my skin is very inflamed like right now I'm breaking out and stuff Stuff, I try to include aloe vera in my routine and whenever I do that I, tr I like gravitate towards this product I have a variety of aloe vera gels in my skincare drawer at the moment and somehow I just gravitate towards this because it's just so calming so so calming is the most calming aloe vera gel I have and it's a moisture surge it really does give you a surge of moisturization you will wake up in the next morning with the most beautiful stunning skin ever so I haven't used it much because I've not had much, many of those days and I do like switch up my products to you know keep trying everything else and you need like the tiniest amount to make it work you just don't need too much and especially like I don't apply an overload moisturizer on my skin I have oily skin like I already said a 10 minute million times in this video uh, I have oily skin I take very little it sinks very well into the skin you can use it in a variety of ways it says it can be used as a direct moisturizer which is what I have done can be mixed with powder mask powder scrubs gels and creams I did not really try to do any of that and you can also use it uh, basically in hair masks and stuff so aloe vera gel is pretty uh, diverse you can use it in variety of ways this is also a very affordable product it's only priced at 550 definitely worth the money and definitely a hit from their range talking about the next so so product that didn't really blow my socks away from their skincare range and that is their rose blush face mask now this product I don't really have much to say it's just not 
um, anything extraordinary, you know, like the other products I was so blown away with because finding a vitamin C in the Indian market that's so good or finding a good sunscreen or finding like a great amazing aloe vera gel all of this kind of blows your socks away especially when it's made in India but this particular face mask it's supposed to be a clay mask the ingredients are willow bark extract rose extract calum clay and calamine now I don't know much about these ingredients apart from calamine which is supposed to be a good calming ingredient and it says it has calum clay so it's supposed to be like a clay mask now honestly speaking it did not have the most like you know how clay masks like you apply them like multani mitti and then when you wash them it feels like it sucked out all of the um, nutrition from your face and your face feels very dry that does not happen with this so that's definitely a plus point but apart from that it doesn't do much like you know it's supposed to calm your skin down calm your inflammation down calm your redness down i didn't really see much of it happening i felt like it's just a nice product to just apply and don't see much of a difference as you can probably tell I've given it very many chances I've used up quite a lot of it so I've tried it two to three times but I didn't see some extraordinary glow on my skin or some extraordinary exfoliation happening where my blackheads are minimized or my pores feel a lot more cleaner you know because clay masks are supposed to do that or even my redness doesn't feel very reduced I don't have very inflamed skin in general but my inflammation doesn't seem to calm down way too much with this product doesn't even do much for my acne so just a so so product you know you don't really need it in your life is what I'm saying so this pro particular product I do not recommend and talking about the last product which honestly speaking I haven't tested out that much to talk very strongly about and that is the miracle oil enchantress now this particular oil is very very potent it has olive oil jojoba oil uh, patchouli oil, mihir oil, tea tree oil, gold dust and geranium oil so it has a lot of oils and being an oily skin girl I do shy away from facial oils but these days I have definitely been incorporating them more consciously in my skincare routine so this oil it says on the instructions that you're supposed to take one or two drops and mix it with your night cream or your moisturizer so that's what I've done I've done it two to three times what I love about this product is that it's very calming because of this concoction of oil it's very very calming and nourishing to your skin like because I only use one drop with my moisturizer it doesn't feel greasy or overly oily or doesn't feel extra much on my face and it feels like a night treatment so when I wake up I do genuinely have better skin I use it with my Sebamed a clear face care gel which is a nice and neutral moisturizer and the other thing that I really like is because of the mixture of oils it's a very calming fragrance so at the end of the day when I'm very very exhausted and my nerves have gotten the best of me this oil just calms me down I also like to take just a little bit and like you know massage it at the back over here so it just calms me down so much I could do that right now uh, it's just like a miracle oil in general so it does what it says and of course if you're dry skin type you will love this product but even if you're oily skin and you're dealing with a lot of skin issues like aging and you're dealing with a lot of you know acne scarring and stuff like that but you don't have active acne at the point and you don't want overly oily skin you could try something like this which would you know heal your skin from within because of all the oils that it has inside it it will heal your skin help it repair better overnight and you can use this product in that way and so with that we complete today's review video I gave you all a gist of every single product and what I feel about it and how I've been using it I hope you all found this video and review helpful if you did please don't forget to hit the like button and also comment below if you've tried any of their products and if you've liked anything or if there's anything more that I should try from their range so I will definitely invest my own money and buy this product and try it out for myself if you're shopping for anything please don't forget to use my code sara10 to attain a 10% off their entire website also if you found this review video helpful don't forget to share it with your friends and family so that we can make the sara score even larger for today's video the sara score shout out goes to samruddhi l thank you so much samruddhi for watching and supporting my channel if you want to be a part of next video sara score shout out then all you have to do is hit the subscribe button the bell icon right next to it and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag Sarah squad and you'll get a chance to be a part of my next video Sarah squad shout out I will see you guys in another video very soon bye guys stay home stay safe and take care love you Mwah.